This is a new GPT within ChatGPT, completely free to use. Its working title right now is the Thumbnail Imitator. And what it does is it recreates top performing YouTube thumbnails for you to try on your latest YouTube videos. And it all starts by attaching an image below. So in this video, we're gonna walk through an example. I'm gonna show you how this GPT works. And then we're gonna look in the back end to look at how it was made, the prompt I use, and the full process that it will go through. Okay, the first step is we need to get a thumbnail. So let's go to YouTube, and I'm gonna go actually to YouTube, and let's find a thumbnail to recreate. I'm gonna scroll down, and let's take this one right here. Seven steps to blank your life. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, we're gonna go copy link address. Now in Google, we're gonna search YouTube thumbnail downloader, and a lot of these websites work, they all do the same thing. Let's click this one. I'm gonna paste that link in, I click get thumbnail images and here we go. So I'm gonna right click, save image as, back in the thumbnail imitator GPT. All we have to do is attach the image. There we go. Don't have to write anything else and just click enter. So what this GPT is gonna do, it's gonna read this image and it's gonna describe it in as much detail as possible. There, and it's recognizing that there's three panels. The left panel shows a man looking down at his phone with a graphic overlay that reads unfollow at the top. And that is true, let's zoom in. It recognizes that the central panel is the same man and he's jogging on a roadside path. And the right panel is a man seated at a desk wearing a white polo shirt and silver headphones and he's focused on a laptop. So first it's gonna to try to recreate this image and scrolling down is, look at this. So it didn't get the order right, that unfollow things in the middle instead of on the left, and the man is running on the right instead of the middle. But you know, that's a pretty good idea of what that original thumbnail was. Next, it's gonna try it again. Cool, the second thumbnail, it's recreating the same meaning of that first image, but now it's being creative. It's giving you multiple options to choose from. And we take a look at the second one, I like this, you know, social media detox. You got a person doing yoga or meditating. Man's on his phone in the middle, and we got like disconnect. It's spelt wrong at the bottom, but shows a man practicing mindfulness. And then it will recreate it one more time. Let's take a look at this one. The person, what is he painting? Or he's jumping in the mountains. A man is intentive looking at a plant. A woman is standing on a ladder painting. Is this whole background image supposed to be a mural? Not quite sure, but this is a beautiful thumbnail. I like the look of it, a lot going on here. Okay, so what this GPT did is it took this original thumbnail that is performing well, that we chose, it described it in as much detail as possible, and then it spit out three thumbnails that you can use for your video that best represents the meaning in the first one. And remember, this is AI, so it's just giving you a start. The first one is the closest resemblance. The second one tries to be creative, but keeps the same meaning, and I get the idea of this one. And the third one is supposed to be ultra creative to give you a different option to choose from. And the final step, the GPT will ask you, do you want all three of those thumbnails packaged in a zip file for download? If you don't, you can download each of these thumbnails separately by clicking the download button here, or it downloads it right to the computer. Say I want to download all three of them manually. Well, let's say we do go yes, please zip them for me. And code interpreter, We'll take those three images, package them into a nice zip file that you can download to your computer. And here's the zip file. Click download. Let's open it up. And here we go. Three PNG files of all of the thumbnails that Dolly3 created for us. All right, that was the thumbnail imitator, a new custom GPT, free inside chat GPT. Let's take a look at how it was made. So I'm gonna click this and then edit GPT. And then we're gonna to go to configure. And this is the back end. First, I created an image, a drawing image of the YouTube logo. It's description, and you know, we talked about it earlier, but it recreates top performing YouTube thumbnails and then start by attaching an image. And why you have to start by attaching an image is step one, we start without any text prompt. So I'm gonna make this bigger. And basically I tell the AI that its task is to design and recreate YouTube thumbnails in a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Uh, step one is you receive an image attachment of a thumbnail from the user, and I make sure that you continuously request an image until one is provided. So we don't let the user go to the next step unless an image is provided as an attachment. Step two, we describe that provided thumbnail in detail. We include its colors, design, and content. Step three is based on that description, draw a new image that closely replicates the original thumbnail. Step four is we're gonna recreate a different thumbnail that's inspired by that original description. And remember, the second one was a bit different than that first one. 
And then step five is we're gonna get really creative. We're gonna go outside the box and we're gonna recreate another thumbnail that has a similar meaning, but it's completely different from the first two. Step six, we ask that user if they want all three of those thumbnails packaged in a zip file for download. And then if they decline, we just tell them that they can download each of them individually within the chat. And then step seven, we remind the user that it's important to A, B, C test all of those three thumbnails that were generated because we got to find which one performs the best in terms of click through rate, average view duration and watch time. And I finished by telling them the whole goal of this is to give three distinct thumbnails that we can test for our newest YouTube video. And what I would do is I'd go to a website, something like thumbnailtest.com. I'm gonna log into my account. And let's say this was my newest video. I'd click into this. I'd create a thumbnail only test and I would upload all of the thumbnails that I got from ChatGPT. Here's me just editing the aspect ratio. You have to stretch it just a tiny bit and then it needs to be a smaller file size, less than two megabytes. So I just do that and let's upload this one. There's that other one and the third. Click next step and then you can run an AB test. This, this one would be technically an ABCD test, but let's say I just had three thumbnails. I would choose daily or hourly. Let's do daily, let's do classic, so it's gonna switch a thumbnail each day. Let's run this test for, let's say 32 days and start the test immediately and run test. This is the thumbnail imitator. It's a free custom GPT that you can use inside of chat GPT. If you wanna try it out, a link will be in the description below. I'll also provide some links to download thumbnails. Hope it helps you get more views, speeds up the thumbnail creation process, which will save you time and grow your channel. All right, thanks for watching.